So we're going to go ahead and get started with our show. So we're going to, I'm going to hand it off to Megan and she's going to talk about staying inspired and being motivated during the pandemic. All right. Thank you, Alex, for that. Um, I am going to go ahead and share my screen real quick. Cool. Um, so <clears throat> here I just have some pretty helpful tips for staying motivated, staying productive while stuck at home. Um, you know, it can be really tough trying to um, balance your different schedules and the different work that you have to do and even just being stuck in your house all day long. You know, you're not usually, you don't have to get up, you don't have to go to work, you don't have to drive to work. Um, and all of those things play a really important role when it comes to being productive and having um, you know your your normal consistent schedule so making sure that you're waking up at your normal work time to get stuff done um, you can even count in the time that it would take you to commute to work when um, you're you're going through and making your schedule that way if you wanted to start a little bit early um, you could take some, some extra breaks just to make sure that you're getting all your hours in and getting all your work done but still not overwhelming yourself too much with that um, get dressed, put on some some real clothes instead of staying in your pajamas. I know it can be pretty tempting to want to stay comfy all day, um, but a lot of times once you get dressed, get ready, um, brush your hair, <laughs> put on makeup if you choose to, that'll really help with feeling like you know you're you're able to go to work essentially, even though you're doing it from home. Um, making sure that you know you're utilizing different calendars and schedules that you have to keep that consistent schedule throughout your whole day. Um, take breaks and go on walks, um, do some exercise, maybe take some books or different things like that uh, to read while you go on a walk or run on the treadmill or anything like that. Um, keeping your mind sharp is really important when it comes to making sure that you're staying focused and motivated. Um, setting your computer into like a focus assist mode. Um, a lot of times it can be really simple to just be able to um, set like a do not disturb button on your computer so you're not um, getting tons of notifications for things. You're able to focus on what you're working on right then and get it done in <clears throat> a more timely manner too. Um, and then making sure that you have boundaries set so when it's the time of day that you're done with work, making sure that that is the time of day that you're finishing work. You don't um, want to drag out the day any longer than it really needs to be um, because you still want to have your normal consistent schedule. And, you know, there's lots of different things that go on, especially for parents who are um, doing school with kids at home, too. So making sure that their day is staying pretty normal, too. Um, and then just taking care of yourself. Find healthy ways to, um, you know, do some self-care activities, um, some different family activities and things like that. Um, and then I do have a um, little self-care booklet that I, can't, I came up with just to kind of walk you through some really simple ways to make sure that you're taking care of yourself um, in a fun and really creative way. So that way um, you have some busy work if you wanted to have a little something to do. Um, there's all sorts of different information in here that kind of walks through, you know, ways to um, boost your confidence and make sure that uh, you're getting all the work done that you are planning on doing for the day um, and setting goals throughout the day as well. So these are really fun things just to be able to get done um, at home. We'll post this on our website as well. Um, that way, you know, if you want to set a goal for yourself or um, go through the booklet as a family as a whole, there's all sorts of different things you can do with that. And again, we'd really love to see um, what all you can you can do with that. Megan, I love the booklet you made. I think that's so cool. And I feel like it's going to be really helpful for people to like remind themselves like the one page that's talking about it's like, how many balls am I juggling? Just made me think about the fact that a lot of times we're so just used to like how hectic and chaotic our lives might be that like when somebody might stop to just list it all out to say like, 
I'm a parent, I'm an employee, like I'm this, 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 like I'm doing all of these things. It might really help people to recognize like I am doing a lot and I'm doing the best that I can like with all these things that I'm juggling. So I think that's great. Thank you. Yeah, and it's just so important to make sure that, you know, I mean, for me, I'm a visual learner. So having things written out and in front of me and being able to go through and customize different things, it really helps just to kind of sort things out for myself. And a lot of people can feel the same way too. So even just having, you know, a tangible piece of paper to write your stuff down is a really helpful piece too. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Megan. I think that'll like, I mean, Sarah said it best. I won't repeat anything she said because I think <laughs> it was perfect. Um, I think it's a great tool to help people realize kind of where they're at in the moment and know what they can and can't control. Because I know a lot of times this can feel this time that we're in right now can feel a lot of out of our control. But if we focus on the things that we can control and things we can manage, sometimes that helps relieve some of the anxiety and stress and frustration that all of us experience when things feel the way they do now. So, all right, well, thank you so much again for sharing that, Megan, we appreciate it. Thank you.